Well, what's up, fellow gems? It's your girl, Sarah from Savvy Sentian, and welcome to your daily reading. This is Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here, hello and welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Regardless of which group you're in, go ahead and drop your girl a like. Por favor, don't make me beg, y'all. I'm here giving y'all love. Can I get some back? Thank you. Anyways, make sure that you consider subscribing as well if you are not already. And if you're looking to book personal readings, join Patreon or uh, purchase any of the cards that I'm using in, the, in today's reading. All that's in the description box. But let's go ahead and get into your reading, Gemini. So during the meditation, this song, um, she's such a freaking home. I love it. <laughs> That song. That song is what played, okay? Along with the word entanglement. So it seems like I might be reading for a different group of Geminis on today's date because this is not the energy that yesterday was giving, okay? So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull in overall energy for you all. What is, let's see, the Empress showing herself. What is the overall energy of this reading for Gemini? Father of Cups, all right? So the Father of Cups energy is um, a highly intuitive card, a mastery of intuition, creativity, um, emotion as well. This is a very well-balanced person or someone who is very emotionally aware, okay? Um, could also be showing up very content in life, but let's get a little bit more. I'm going to pull a love oracle just because of the song. And it says, can y'all see that? It's so pretty. Okay, it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Okay. Um... I don't know. Maybe this is about the same person. This might be just, you know, that night thing that y'all be doing. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, three Island Time Wellness Oracles, please. Spirit. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect their wounds and introspective. The person that you are dealing with may be um, someone who mirrors you. Okay. Now, there's also... The lightning card. So this is kind of like tower energy, but this is something coming into your life quite suddenly. We have sudden change, shocking news, uh, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. We also have the coffee cup card. So this is meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. We got focused. And then we also have the soulmates card. So... It could be that this um, song was kind of taunting, you know, that this person that you are dealing with, Gemini, feels like you're just like them. That's why they love it. All right. You're such a freaking, I love it. All right. Because they're, they're a freaking hell too. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Y'all nasty. Why y'all got me reading this? Like, why are we doing this right now? It's... I can't, but, but I will, because I have to. All right, so I'm still going to pull affirmators, but I want to get this spread out for you all to see what's really good. What's going on with Gemini and this person that they're dealing with? Three of Pentacles energy? Mm. Mm. Not with the song that I just heard. Are y'all trying to do some... Uh, Y'all inviting others into the situation. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, new stable beginning, Sun card. It really is giving y'all having a good time. That's what it's really giving. Like, ain't no judgment over here. Do your thing, whatever you are into. Um,. But also with the third, with the three of pentacles, um, there's a part of that song that says your boyfriend is a dork, McLovin, which indicates that maybe one of y'all have a have another person, and it's not that y'all are inviting other people in; it's that there's somebody on the sidelines who has no idea about this entanglement. 
Yeah, because, yeah, coming out in the reverse, king of pentacles and the page of pentacles. So someone may be spying or watching you all. Someone may be um, seeing your indiscretion. Sheesh. And what is the, <laughs> the center of this reading? What is this? The focal point of this reading. Why is everything coming out in reverse? The Three of Swords. Is this catchback? <laughs> or is that third party an ex? Maybe watching y'all. Feeling like you're disloyal. Because it feels like whatever this is, you're doing it in an effort to feel better. Five of Swords in reverse. Giving up on something. Feeling like um, there's no need to continue fighting over something. Fighting for something. Four of Swords, Rest and Recovery. Yeah. Um, high Priestess, Secrets, Mysteries, Intuition, Sexuality, Sensuality. Nine of Wands, Resilience, Pushing Through Obstacles. So, this is a story that I'm getting, y'all. I feel like some of you all have um, gotten into this entanglement while not completely being out of a relationship. But the relationship that you all were in was something that was very painful for you, okay? Or it may still be painful for you. But you really have gotten to the point where you don't want to fight for it anymore. You're giving up. So... You are now in this entanglement with someone and maybe other people see you as being disloyal, but you're very happy. You're having a great time with whoever this person is. You're having fun. Okay. So you may feel like you're being disloyal or other people may think that you're being disloyal while not knowing that the relationship is pretty much over and you're just doing you. Okay. Um, this is, this is you pushing through. This is how you're choosing to deal with the pain, the grief of the relationship. You're choosing to go out and have a good time. And hey, if you're grown, you're an adult, that's fine. Do you, all right? Handle your grief how you need to. Um, but let's clarify this um, King of Pentacles with the sword, Page of Swords in the reverse. The person you're dealing with may suspect or you may have even told them two of wands needing to make some choices. Okay. Um, but it looks like the choice is made. You already doing the thing. Let's clarify that further. Two of wands. Taking the path less chosen. Maybe you are just not a cheater. And in this instance, because of the, the reality of the situation that you're in. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the Two of Wands is being clarified by the Ten of Swords and the Tower. So I feel like this is like, rather than tell them, you're choosing to let things end painfully for them. Like you're kind of hoping they find out. Like you... I feel like the person you're dealing with is the page of swords in reverse. So they're like sneaking around, looking, gossiping, talking to people, questioning people about your disloyalty, even though up until this point, maybe they have been the ones being disloyal or lying and cheating. And now that the shoe is on the other foot, they can't handle it. And for you, instead of just leaving the situation, you are leaving the situation in a way that um, causes pain for them, okay? This is your way of, like, getting revenge. You're causing a shocking attack on them. We also have the lightning card as part of the leading energy, which is sudden change, shocking news. So I feel like this person is not aware of your new beginning and you're kind of like they're gonna see they'll find out and I feel like whoever you're dealing with is aware of it um and they are getting some type of excitement from it as well um but for you this is all very 
cathartic. Like it's it's healing for you to to inflict this pain or this this shock upon this person. Maybe you're not even with this person for some of y'all, but they are the type who um is like you're always mine. Like they don't ever let you go. They keep they keep you in cycles. But whether you're with them or not, they're like you're mine. You're mine. You're mine. And you kind of like maybe flaunting this relationship because you wanted to get back to them. Because you wanted to hurt them. But whatever the case is, this is healing and cathartic for you with the five of swords and three of swords in reverse. Clarify. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You are playing to your strengths, Gemini, for real. We have the strength card and the queen of wands, Leo energy, fire energy here. So some of you all may have a fire rising, a fire Venus, um, but you are tapping into that, um, that queen of wands energy, that sensuality, that, um, charisma, that, all of us Geminis have, um, but you're tapping into that and you are using that to get what you want. And in this case, what you want is to be healed. It's, very, it's giving very much getting up under somebody else to get over this, whoever this person is. Okay. Um, I mean, say you just own, carry on, carry on friend. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and it is it is giving you, you know, the recovery that you want. It's it's I feel like it was supposed to be a secret, but it's not so secret. Why is the high priestess here? You know that it's not quote unquote the right thing. But for you, this is your justice. This is how you are getting justice for yourself in this situation. All right, uh, with the nine of wands, this is how you push through. This is how you persevere. All right, Gemini, I'm not going to pull no more cards on this. No more tarot, but look, who's mad? I'm not. Do what you got to do. <laughs> do what you got to do to feel better. All right, I'm not going to judge you or nothing. There could have been other ways, but... uh. This is the way you chose. <laughs> so this is what it is. All right. So the very first card comes out is the hold your vision card, which came out yesterday. So whatever it is that you are wanting, whatever it is that you see for yourself in the future, stay true to your vision because that is the only way you can make it come to fruition. Understand that whatever that is, you are good enough for it. All right. If it is a relationship like the one you're currently having, where it's fun, it's a good time, where you're enjoying it, and it is healing for you, in in whatever way, shape, or form, understand that you deserve that, that you're good enough for that, and understand also that prosperity lies ahead with the new moon in Taurus card. So even though this may seem like it's just a fling for some of you all, this may um, become a little bit more prosperous of a relationship, this may become, you know, a full out relationship for others of you. This is going to lead you to a certain sense of freedom. I'm feeling, I, I think that it is going to free you up of whoever this is that is still connected to you, but in letting them go, there's going to be more freedom and more, it just feels like abundance with the sun energy here and then the prosperity lies ahead. Like this is the beginning of abundance. It's a interesting way to start <laughs> to, to, to invite that into your life. But I mean, everyone's healing journey is different and perhaps this is the karma that, you know, the universe wanted for this person. Sometimes karma comes in the form of people and you may just be this person's karma. All right. Maybe they will do better in the future about treating people right, but they didn't treat you right. And now you are living on their ass. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some rebel messages. Rebel, rebel, talk nice or don't. I don't care, but please tell Gemini what they need to hear.
Look at the rebel cards. Look at them. <laughs> they love to try to gather you. I'm over here just co-signing your foolishness. And the rebel card said no. No. Absolutely fucking not. All right. So the first card says, don't look at anyone. Don't talk to anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. Rebel thinks you're doing too much. Like, they over here judging you. I personally don't. <laughs> I'm okay with what you're doing, Gemini. But Rebel messages say, you're doing too much. Go sit down. Go spend some time alone. All right. The next card says, shit is going down with your job. Ooh. For some of you all, this could be a workplace romance. I need you to focus, camera. This could be a workplace romance. Um, evaluate, change your perspective or fucking quit. Um, but also this could be your job as a girlfriend, your job as a boyfriend, whatever the case is. Um, perhaps it's just time for you to not do all of this that you're doing that I'm co-signing and cheerleading for. <laughs> perhaps it's just time for you to reevaluate, change your perspective or fucking quit. Just leave them alone altogether. Um, maybe it wasn't necessary for you to stoop down to their level. However... Didn't it help you heal? <laughs> I'm not opposed to what you're doing, Gemini. I'm sorry. All right. And finally, the last card says shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. So the rebel is saying, forgive this person and let them go. But doing all this extra shit, nah, go sit down. But I'm saying, I'm not mad at you, <laughs> Gemini. I'm not mad. Okay. So let's pull an affirmator for you. Advice and postcard from spirit. All right. That's your affirmator. Let's pull your advice. Advice for Gemini. All right, so yeah. Um, postcard from Spirit. What is your postcard from Spirit? So I'm going to start with the advice because it's already, it is also giving judgment. So there may be some different, um, some different spirits conflicting here about what is right for you right now, Gemini. I need you to trust your own intuition for your own situation. But there, there's clearly a conflict in the spiritual realm between what they think you should be doing in this situation. The bottom of the deck is the five of cups in reverse. So they want you to let go of this hurt. Stand in your power, yes. But to create conflict and to manipulate others, nah, they don't want you to be doing that. What you're doing, they feel, is manipulative and, you know, something that you shouldn't be doing. But do stand in your power. Take your power back. Absolutely. Um, and, and two messages of just letting the shit go. Two messages of forgiveness and letting it go. Which, you know, maybe you should. There's no need to hold on to old baggage. The strength is your affirmator. That comes out twice in this reading as well. You are hereby declared strong, resilient warrior of the heroic portion. In proportion. Enjoy your... Enjoy your battles, whatever they are, because you are guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and compassionate. And based on what I know of mythology, probably with great hair and a six pack. All right. So I don't know. This card is giving a little bit of enjoying. <laughs> it looks like you're enjoying this battle very much. So Gemini, it, it seems like it agrees with us. But yeah, um, all jokes aside. Even though I support your shenanigans, Gemini, it is always best to just let go of what's not serving you. There's no need to engage in what's beneath us, what's hurting us, what's not worthy of our time and of our attention. So rather than being in an entanglement, go ahead and let this person go and then go enjoy your life and have fun with whoever this other person is, if you haven't already. If you have, well, then they're just going to have to watch you live your life and have a great time because they should not still be claiming you. <laughs> Get over it. 
All right. So the postcard from Spirit says, to help you, I'm sorry, dearest wonderful you, to help you manifest a life for the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all your desire, desires, no matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some might bring you too much attention and invite negative reaction from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seed of positive intention take the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. Okay, so that is your postcard from spirit. And that is your reading, Gemini. <laughs> If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. I'm here for all your shenanigans, so please tell me about them in the comments because I'm ready. All right. Um, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Until the very next time I read for y'all gems, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.